Syracuse University, uh, the electric engineering department, have a long history uh, of microwave expertise, and actually this started from the early 50s after the World War II. If you design and then you fabricate and then you find out that your product is not meeting the specs, so, and this is really a waste of time, waste of money, waste of effort, and definitely the company will not meet the deadline for uh, submitting a product. So if really from beginning you uh, start by doing simulation, uh, then you will find that, okay, I mean, this design is working, is not working, uh, this choice of material is good, is bad, those kind of issues. So it means that you will save time, you can meet your demand in a timely manner. At Syracuse, we do have a quite a nice fabrication facility. One of the things is that before you fabricate, you need to design. So I have adopted uh, HPSS and the designer as a part of my course. So I'm explaining the theory equations. I'm explaining how to use designer first to get initial design, how to get from there to HFSS, so you can get your uh, scattering parameters, and then you can optimize and tune to get the response you want. After this, after the students are comfortable with the design meeting the specs, they can implement it practically, and then they can test it. When you have a software such as HFSS, which is a 3D modeling software, it means that you can uh, draw your structure, you can put all kinds of details and parameters, and you can get a response and you can visualize the field, which is really a uh, very good feature. I feel very comfortable with HFSS and with the trend going on with HFSS that like every uh, uh, years or even every couple of years uh, they are incorporating uh, new features, uh, advancements. So I feel this is really very wonderful tool for the student to learn. I have been using uh, ANSYS for a long time, especially in the high frequency modeling part. And whatever I am designing, I am fabricating and testing. So far along the history of my research and design, usually post-measurement and simulation results are in excellent agreement.